what do you want to do with your life? What do you, where do you want to go? You know, like what vision do you have for 2020 or the next 10 years? You know, where were you in 2010? What did you envision your life being in 2010? And now that we're in 2020, like, are you there? Like, it's not until you actually sit and start thinking and let's list them down and organize them. Like, which one's the most important to me? And it's like, now draw it out. Like, what exactly do you want to do? Like, oh, I want to be a CEO of a company. Like, what's the company do? What's the focus? What's the values of that company? Like, do they, is it what you believe in? Like, what do you want to do to impact the world, you know? Or impact your life, your family, whatever it is. It's like, make it something so concrete and tailored specifically to you that it actually matters. Right. No, it's really true. Like, uh, in 99, I went to Hawaii, and I was driving uh, in this town, Waimea, and I swear, Rick, I saw myself in this, this field where the park is. I saw myself playing football and catch, playing soccer, playing tennis, uh, working out. I just knew I was going to be there. And year, about a year or two later, I lived in that neighborhood. I trained in, at that gym across the street from that park. Yeah. I did running drills and football drills. That's why I started Barefoot Boot Camp. I played soccer on the team. I played city basketball right there in that park um and i played tennis with with uh friends right there too but i knew it so much that it, it almost was like history and so i think when you for me like when i take time and i just invest in vision questing yeah it's almost like if you really want it, it you can't help but it happen and it's even better than what you could imagine right so right. then once you once you align and you like know like you flesh it out Oh, this is what I, this is exactly what I'm looking for. This is exactly what I want to do. Like there's, it's almost like nothing can stop you from accomplishing it. Like it's just a call to action. Like at that point, it's just like, okay, now act. So let me ask you, what, what do you think are like some common blocks um, to vision for, for certain people? The the biggest one, and I I learned this from some friends of mine, Dave and Sherry and Hawaii, when I live in their property is it's really what you want not how you're going to get it. Don't worry about how you're going to get it. Uh, just what, do you, what is it that you want? And then begin to feel it. If you can feel what it would feel like to have the thing that you wanted, like for me, I wanted, really what I wanted here in Las Vegas was a place to belong. And I wanted a place where it was a safe environment to, uh, to meet people. And so I really wanted this feeling of family uh, in Hawaii, it's Ohana. And so True Fusion is really, for me, it's about Ohana. It's about having this sweat family and where your guard is kind of down and you're not the sum total of your money or your job or your, you know, what you do. But it's really like just a conversation where you're not really judged. You're just, um, everybody's like on the same page. So instead of talking about what I can't do or what I don't have, it's like, well, what is it you, what is it you want? And then imagine yourself having it. And then what would it feel like if you had it? And so if you can, if you can like feel it and declare it, you already have it. If that makes sense. Yes. Yes. And then you just, you actually, it's not even like a job or it's, it's just a a series of you get to do's as you're, you know, attaining the thing that you declared you want. So it's, it honestly, at the end of the day, Rick, it's about believing in yourself, investing Mm -hmm. in yourself. If you believe and invest, then you can really have anything you want. You know, I came to Las Vegas. I didn't know one person. I knew one person, the person (laughs) I came here with. And that was it. And I was friendless. Um, And it was, it was tough. And now I'm, you know, pretty well known. And we started this company, you know, with people like yourself that have taken this vision and this sense of family. Right. And, in kettlebells, like no one was doing kettlebells, group kettlebell classes, right? Yeah. And here you are. When I met you, man, you just, you lit up like a kid in a candy shop. Yeah. And now you've taken this thing and made it better than I could ever imagine. Thank you. So tell me, what do you see? What do you think the big blocks are when it comes to, uh, you know, declaring yourself or vision questing? So I think the biggest thing that I've, in either myself or I, I, when I've had conversations with others, you know, as to like, why aren't you, you know, shooting for the things that you want? I'm afraid I'll fail. Uh, I'm I'm afraid I won't make it, you know, I'll, I'll waste my time trying to do it and I won't be able to, um, in the concept of time. Oh, I, I 
can't go for that side hustle that I want to be my career because I have to work or, you know, I don't have the extra time in the day to do X, Y, Z. Bill Gates in his speech was kind of mentioned. He's like, what's the difference between you and me? You have 24 hours. I have 24 hours. I don't have 26. I don't have 28. I don't have 30. Right. right. I have the same 24 hours. <laughs> it's what you do with that time. It's like how you, how you distribute it, you know, allocate it to the things that you're really, truly passionate about. That's one of the things that I do love about fitness because when you're in that room, we're all dressed in workout clothes. Doesn't matter if you're a student, a doctor, a celebrity, like doesn't matter. Like we are, you, if we don't, if you, if, unless you're like a real big, big, big celebrity, like no one really knows who you are. It's like we're yeah, still right, right. together and we're working out and having fun. And it's just about that moment and enjoying that, getting that workout in, getting sweaty, the endorphins running high, high five, awesome job. And we'll do it again tomorrow. And you know, like what happens there? All those barriers just went away, right? I think that that's why I like these retreats. We're going somewhere completely different, somewhere completely away from your life, disconnected completely. It's like, put the phone down, get off the internet, and like, just enjoy this. And like, little by little, it's like, it's, you just start clearing your mind, start to hit reset. And it's like, you know, kind of like you went to Hawaii, what happened? You had a dream. You planted that dream. Look at it now. You know, it's just as simple as just getting a handful of people together and mm -hmm. having a conversation. And that conversation is really the seed that you plant yeah. to, to, you know, build in the garden of your life. Like build the thing that you want in the coming years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be like a big, big deal. It's really just a conversation with intention mm -hmm. and declaration. And then you go out and you have good fun. You have a good time. Uh, you work your stuff out and you come back to this. It's almost like life is on pause and yeah. you get to just vision quest. And, and uh, you know, I got to tell you, I can't take vacations. I can't go on trips unless they're retreat driven or they have meaning behind them or there's a, a clear purpose. Um, I went to Hawaii like the year later and with you know, just to go to have fun. And I didn't have that much fun. I went to all my retreat and I had more fun than I've ever had in my life. Um, so now, now I have this, this thing about like, I want to go and like, that's why I want to go to Tulum with you so bad because I, it's going to be even better than what I could imagine. And I can imagine pretty high. <laughs> so having gone to been to Tulum, it really is a reset. It really is like a, a recharge environment. It's a place I've never relaxed so much than I have in Tulum. You know, it was really, it was really, I can't even tell you how much I kind of want to go to your retreat just to go back and, and support you, but mostly because uh, I like you and it's just such a great place to be. Right. It's really Rick, you know, like, like these retreats is as silly as it may sound mm -hmm. by saying yes, you're saying yes to abundance, or at least I feel like that. I'm saying yes to getting outside of my comfort zone and going and actually you, you kind of have to go on adventure, right? And it, it really is great to go to an exotic location and yes. get away and get all the distractions out and be with people that are seemingly strangers and the level of connection that, you, that we get with those people is profound. I still talk to everybody that goes to my retreat. I talk to them um, every couple of weeks. We kind of do a message and it's like when we see each other, we're instant family again. Some yeah. of the best times of my life. No, no kidding, Rick. Like this retreat, I believe that you'll do and host will be one of the times in your life you'll remember forever. Oh, I hope so. I hope that it's like that for everybody. It's like it's like magic yeah. getting to getting away together as a tribe. And yeah, so, yeah. It's like when like when we you know when you're doing yoga and you're everyone's moving together, moving in sync. That energy in the room. It's like. Yeah. This is, I mean, I feel like this is kind of similar because we're all going there with the same intention. So it's it like, is. that's the energy that's being shared with those around you. We're here for the same goal. You right, know? right. So, so tell me again. So when is the final date that we can sign up for your retreat? Um, December 15th. I believe it's the same, um, same as yours. Okay. So, so we're both December 15th. Yep. And so, um, and then when is, what's the date of your retreat? Uh, we actually leave on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Yeah, you do, uh, really? Oh, yes, no. we do. Yes, we do. 
you wow. know, do it come with your with your significant other or come for yourself like realistically like do it for you you know whether it's with someone or not like you take this trip to better yourself to to set yourself up for the next 10 years so, in the way that I, you I, I didn't uh, i didn't really i kind of knew it was around that yeah. holiday but i got to tell you my own experience yeah. uh, for anybody thinking about going to tulum it is one of the most sexiest places I've ever been in my life. <laughs> There's this like copal that all the places have. It's like the smoke. It smells really good. And I don't know what it is about people there, but they look extra sexy. You know, I think, I don't know, Mexico. There's something just unique about Tulum and, and special about Mexico. The food, uh, the smells, the ocean. In Tahoe, I used to go to Tahoe uh, almost every other year. I had a, a timeshare there. And Tahoe is like Hawaii, like Tulum. It's mm -hmm. one of the most special places on the planet. If you haven't been, if you, have you been to Tahoe before? I have not. I have not, unfortunately. Oh, man, I tell you, the, it's, it's the deep blue, man. There's the, the lake is one of the most incredible, deepest lakes on the planet. Um, it's like the skiing is epic. It's, there's just something truly magical about Tahoe. It's another place where you can get on the mountain peak Mm -hmm. and kind of peer out and, and make a declaration, even if it's just in your imagination. Um, it's, it's like skiing with or snowboarding with a sense of vision and intention. So um, I'm really excited. I, I hope to be able to go to both. Hopefully I go to Tulum and I'll certainly going to be in Tahoe. And, uh, and I'm, I'm really excited. When is Tahoe? Tahoe is February 27th okay. uh, until the 1st. I'm really looking to do like as much as the workout will be hard and challenging, it'll, it ends with a sense of like mind hacks. And then mm -hmm. we, we go and adventure on the mountain and like push our edge. Yeah. And then we come back at the end of the day and we, we reset again, and recalibrate and kind of go to bed on a sense of like, what do you really want in the rest of your life forever? And, uh, and that's just a fun conversation to have, I think. So it's just, you know, it's a sense of retreat and vacation with meaning and purpose. And once, you know, once you have that in your life, it's hard to go back to uh, shallow conversations. I agree with that. You know, uh -huh. you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. Rick, I got to tell you, I met you a couple of years ago and I knew instantly what you had talent wise for kettlebells, but to watch you like now go through all the different classes and, and your reputation I mean, everybody that I, that I talk to tells me how much they love and respect you. And I just can't thank you enough for taking what, what I started and making it even better than what I could ever imagine. So thank you. Thank you for that. Like, thank you yeah. for creating this home for us. You know, right. for my company, like where every, everybody, you know, different, you know, there's some people that I've met that were just yogis that they probably would have never stepped foot in my room, but because we have yoga in our studio, like, hey, I'm going to go try this class today. And now they're converts, you know? Right, your right. TRX fans or their kettlebell fans or the boxing fans, um, yeah, like and, and everybody that's that's in that studio is like family to me. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Don't forget, everyone, December fourteenth. If you'd like to come, fill up those final spots that we got left. Don't miss out on it. If you've got even the slightest feeling that you might be interested, just say yes and do All right. it. Right. You know Take what, that. Rick? I tell you, this is a good one. If you're like not sure. Just yeah. say yes and, and pretend like you're going to go, like call and just find out stuff. And even if you can't, even if you go, ah, it didn't work out, at least you pretended like you could go. Even mm -hmm. pretending is, is, a, is, a, is a trick. Yeah. And if you can't go to Tahoe, you can't go to Tulum, go someplace. Because mm -hmm. nobody's going to give you a retreat other than you. Yep. All right, brother. Aloha, man. I'll see you. Hey, I'll see you during the Super Bowl when I'm in uh, Miami for the Super oh, Bowl. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, baby. Hell yeah. All right. Aloha. Bye, Aloha. Bye. Bye.